What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a mini makeup haul for you guys. So if you would like to know what I hauled, then keep on watching. Keep on watching. in my makeup haul i ordered some stuff from morphe and let me tell you this morphe stuff took long to arrive oh my gosh i was supposed to get it on august 22nd no august 26th i think i ordered it on either the 22nd or the 23rd with two day shipping but then it was a weekend so i was supposed to get it on the 26th it didn't reach to my house until like two days ago because ubs said my address was wrong. I don't understand how my address is wrong when I got y'all notification in my mailbox saying my address was wrong. Right? So then they resent my package. Hello? Okay, so I finally got my package and I was so excited. So first thing I got was the new Jeffree Star X Morphe eyeshadow palette. And I'll open it for you guys really quick. So this is what the palette looks like. Pretty similar to the um, box or the carton that it came in. So this is what the palette looks like right here. It has some pretty greens and purples and reds and neutrals. And I'm so excited for this like shimmer shade called Millions. So I, do, I did film a tutorial on it and that will be up soon. So you'll see how that operates, but I really do like it. I really, really do. And then along with the eyeshadow palette, I did pick up the Morphe X Jeffree Star Starberry um, Set and Refresh Mist. It's similar to my original Morphe um, Set and Refresh Mist, but this one's like a strawberry scent, so. Mm. It smells <coughs> mm. It smells and tastes pretty good, yeah. Next up from Morphe, I got the 39S Such a Gem palette. Now this is similar to the James Charles and the 30, the first holiday palette that came out with this size. I have the James Charles and that one, I just don't remember which one it is. But this is the 30, I think it's a 39A, something like that. So this is the 39S palette, it's really, really big. And I'll show you what the inside looks like. So this is what the palette looks like. It has some pretty like purples and pinks. So if you're into those types of shades, this is the palette for you. And I'll have everything linked down below with the prices and everything. So I'm really excited to try this one. If you want a tutorial on this palette, please comment down below and let me know and I'll be glad to do that for you guys. So this is what the palette looks like. So next up I went to Ulta and I picked up another of the Morphe Set and Refresh Mist because I love these. Oh my gosh, I love them and they're so inexpensive. They're like 16 bucks and the spray is just amazing. So I picked up another one of those. I picked up the Morphe Fluidity Full Coverage Foundation in the shade F. For 20 and this is what the box looks like right here and this is what the component looks like I did review the foundation it should already be up on my channel so I'll link it right here so you can check that out and I did do a wear test on it because this was a very controversial product I had to see what the tea was and I also picked up the fluidity full coverage concealer and I'm in the shade C415 and I'll show you what that shade looks like this is what it looks like right here it's like a pretty like neutral shade so that's the type of shades I like for my um my concealers so I picked that up okay so from Ulta I picked up the Juvia's Place I Am Magic concealer and setting powder and I did do a review on these already so I'll link that video up in the card so you can check that out so I'll show you what the component looks like so this is what it looks like right here it's very thick it's like a thick and sturdy component and I like that and the setting powder if I can get it open Oh, I ripped the box. 
it's okay it's okay so this is what the component looks like right here for the setting powder I got oh in the concealer I am shade 10 and for the setting powder I picked up the Kalahari shade which is like the nice like yellow banana picked up some stuff from Colourpop because I really want to do or use products that's a little bit more affordable so I'm working on a drugstore makeup tutorial I am but I needed some stuff from Colourpop and I was like might as well just order some stuff that I can do a full face so first thing I got the Colourpop no filter concealer in the shade dark 42 so this is what the component looks like right here and it's a nice neutral so I picked that up I got the BFF volumizing mascara in the shade black on black so I'll open that for you guys so you can see what it looks like and the packaging is so cute it has like BFF and like hearts and stars written all over it and I'll show you what the wand looks like so this is what the wand looks like right here I haven't tried any of these on yet so I'm waiting to do my full face of ColourPop so I can demonstrate and because some of these products I've never used even though I love to call I love ColourPop I've never used any majority of these products so I'm really excited to try them uh, next up I got the all star matte and blur face setting spray so this is what the packaging looked like. It has some like stars like embossed on the packaging. So I'm gonna open this for you guys so you can see what the bottle looks like. It's like this pretty like orange um, color. So I'm curious to see how this setting spray works because you know the Morphe one is like my all time favorite one. So I'm curious to see how this works. I'll let you guys know in that video. I got the All Star Matte and Blur Primer. So, I think this will be good for like my T-zone because that's where I'm like really oily. This has stars that embossed on it as well. So this is what the primer looks like right here. So I'm curious to try this out as well. So I'll let you guys know when I'm going to do that video. It will be pretty soon. So be on the lookout for that video. So next I picked up the ColourPop No Filter Foundation in the shade Deep Dark 185. And I've already tried out this foundation, so this was just like a replacement because I'm running low on the one that I already have. But this is what it looks like. It comes in like this little cute little bottle right here. So this is the shade. And I would say that this is comparable to like a NARS Natural Radiant finish wise. It's going to give you that nice filtered finish, radiant finish. It's not mattifying. But I really, really love this, and it's like nine bucks. Can't go wrong with that. And last up from ColourPop, I have been wanting this palette for so long. Like, so long I've been wanting this palette, and I have, I have yet to pick it up. And I finally got it, because every time I checked, it was out of stock. So I picked up the Sweet Talk palette, and just admire the packaging. Come on, like, look at that. Oh my god, that gold reflect, and it has the shades on the back. Oh my god, I've been wanting this palette, oh my gosh, for so long, and I finally got it. So I'm excited to use it, I'm excited to have this in my collection. I think this came out for like springtime, but it's so pretty. So this is what the packaging looks like, oh my gosh, and this is like so me. I love rose gold and gold, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. So this is what the inside of the palette looks like. Has some pretty peachy colors, some nice neutrals, some pinks, some rose golds, and this nice pretty like deep brown, which I love a deep brown in a palette. So this is what it looks like. It has a super shock shadow in here, guys, and I think it's this one side to, ooh, yes, yes, yes. The shade side to side. This is what it looks like right here. It's a pretty sheer right here. So that's the shade side to side, has some pretty like glitters in here, early morning and prima drama. So this one is early morning right here, it's a pretty gold and prima drama. So I'm going to swatch them right here for you guys. So these are what the glitters look like right here. So we have prima drama right here and early morning, yeah. 
those are what the shades look like so I'm so excited to try these out I'm like so over the moon excited for that palette specifically moving on to Sephora of course there it can't be a haul without Sephora products so from Sephora I picked up the replacement of the Sol de Janeiro boom boom cream this is probably like my third one within a span of like a few months so I, I love this stuff and I saw that we're getting the jumbo one so and they have a candle guys my favorite candle right now is the vanilla bean from white barn bath and body works but I need Sol de Janeiro to come out with like a bigger candle because it's about this big right here and it comes in a set with like a really mini boom boom cream but I need them to just sell the candles separately like a good size so I can buy like five so I can buy like five of them and just have it stocked up because I love the scent of the boom boom cream and and the Brazilian crush body fragrance mist oh my god this here this you guys is oh my gosh i love the way this smells the way it sprays and it's huge it is huge so this will last me a while this will last me a while so i love the way this smells i love i did put um a set that has the Brazilian cream, uh, the Brazilian crush body mist and the boom boom cream in the giveaway I did for my 100 subscriber giveaway. So whoever wins, I, I promise you, you are going to love this because I, oh my gosh, it's delectable. Next up from Sephora, I picked up the Kat Von D crushed cream foil long wear eyeshadow in the shade crystal rose right here and I'll open it and swatch it for you guys so this is what the product looks like right here so this is what it looks like on my hand oh my gosh I do have the um silver chrome looking one somewhere in my beauty room but this is what this one looks like I'm like because I, I bought the silver one first and then I was like I have to go and go back and get the um the rose gold one because I love rose gold it's like one of my favorite colors so I had to had to had to had to had to had to pick it up I had to no if ands or buttsies no no <laughs> the next product I picked up was a replacement of the drunk elephant jelly cleanser this is a cleanser that I've been using for the past few months and it really agrees with my skin it's probably the best cleanser I've used ever in my life so it, it doesn't have a scent it doesn't have like any dyes or anything and it is just clear like clear as jelly just clear a clear cleanser so I really love this one and I'm running out so I'm like like you know when you squeeze the bottle like to the cap just to make sure you get everything out that's where I am with that jelly cleanser so I'm glad I picked up another one I got the glow recipe watermelon glow ultra fine mist I was really skeptical about this because it, it does have a fragrance but it doesn't break me out the mist is so fine and it just adds that like extra hydration to the skin so I love 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 this let me open it so you can see what it looks like and it uh, it just smells like pure watermelon and I love it so this is what the component looks like right here and the mist on it is just so fine mm. oh my gosh it smells so so good so refreshing it doesn't feel oily or like not gonna make me like too dewy or anything but I I just love 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 this whenever my skin is dry at work I just and it's so hydrated I love it next product I picked up is the Anastasia Beverly Hills new liquid liner when I swatched this at work I was like Anastasia my darling what have you created so this is what the liner looks like and I keep getting confused because I'm thinking like here is the product but you have to turn it upside down so this little part here is a product and then you twist it up 
and then you get the brush right here. So I'm gonna swatch it for you guys so you can see how black it is. So that is what the liner looks like. And it dries down matte and it does not move. Like, when I tell you it doesn't move, it doesn't move. And I'm less like, Anastasia, you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. So, so, that is it you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup haul. I know it's a lot. I have so much makeup in my room that I have yet to put away. So without further ado, if you have not done so already, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Ring the bell notification so you won't miss out on any uploads and that way you can be notified whenever I upload. And as always, I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! <laughs>